All right, good morning. God bless everybody. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, it's 8 31, the 21st of October. Um, I didn't really put anything together to read, you guys, but I'm um, heading out this morning. I'm just going to load up a little short video here. And uh, basically, just want to drop in, say hey, and. Uh, I witnessed with this girl this morning. Um, I went into Waffle House. I hadn't been there in quite a while. Probably six months or better. But yeah, uh, I went in there just to have a little breakfast this morning and listening to people, you know? When they're talking, this one guy's talking about how he BS'd police officers and they let them go many, many different times. You know, and then like laughing about it. And then I told that one girl that was waiting on me, I said, you know, I said, we can only BS our way out of things so long before they catch up with you. And I said, our whole life is we're being tried. And I said, you're not going to BS your way out of the truth when it comes to God. He knows everything about us. And uh, I said, it's just better to be honest. And she goes, well, you know, we've all lied. And I said, yeah, we have. I said, but there's people out there that stopped because of the, they had, the fear of God came over them. Or the Spirit, the Holy Spirit came into them. And they didn't want to do those things that they used to do anymore. I said, you can stop. I said, or you can go with the flow. And I said, the choice is yours. You know, you can either... Do what the world is doing, or you can go with the flow. I want to mention it while I haven't mentioned it, you guys. The, uh, the sun has uh, moved. Normally it comes up from behind the buildings the other way. And uh, right now, it's moved a good distance over here. Good distance. Good distance from where it normally rises. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I was telling her. I said, you know, you can always, you know, when I'm hearing people say and talking like that, it, I clearly know they don't know the times. And I asked, I said, do you know we're in the end times right now? And one guy sitting next to me had his phone in his face. And I, he could hear me, so the lady could hear me with her husband and another seat over. And I could see they were, she was paying attention to me. And uh, I told her how the container ships out at sea. I said, this is never going to happen again. And it's, and it's prophesied in the Bible. I said, this is where we're at. I said, the churches have been given, uh, making feel-good messages, you know, to where they go home, they feel good for the week. I said, but if you read these scriptures, it tells you we're supposed to be like this seven days a week in the Word of God. And following Christ. And that Satan is the prince of this world. Christ came here. And the world hated him because he was telling them the ways are evil and that Satan is the prince. You are whom you obey. And uh, she's like, well, you know, maybe I should be going back to uh, uh, reading a little bit. I said, get a Bible app. Open it up and start reading your Bible app. And I said, uh, listen to it a little bit. I said, because you're going to hear the word of God. King James, if you're going to hear the word of God versus hearing a sermon that's put together once a week, then all week you're living of this. I said, listen to it. And I said, uh, get into Revelation. We're in the times now. We're in the end. I said, also listen to Matthews and Luke. You know, listen to it. I said, you're going to hear more listening to your Bible app than you're going to hear going to a church once a week. You know, and... Uh, I told her about the 46 chromosomes, the DNA, how Christ was talking about his body and how that's what they're doing now in the body, you know, and uh, the man of perdition ain't coming back in a temple built by hands. It's the body. It's always been the body. That's why it says, what, don't you know your body is the temple? It's not the building. Christ made that clear. Anyhow. Yeah, there's just not much to be said anymore. There really isn't. Everything is just what it is. Trying to move this 
something a little bit away from the. This doesn't help the speaker. It's plugged in. It's got to be plugged in. <coughs> Battery life is very short on this uh, laptop. That's why it has to be plugged in. Anyhow, guys, just stay bold and strong. Last night I had a dream where. Um, there was like a propane leak, and it was a lot of a lot of it coming out of a rubber hose. And I was like, "Whoa, man!" I said, "We got to cap this off." So this is dangerous. Then all of a sudden, it whoo, caught on fire, and it was just massively blowing out, like massive flames, man, burning. And I was like, "Whoa!" And I was looking, I was surprised it wasn't melting because it was a rubber hose, but it was massive. It was big, and there was tons of propane, like flames coming out of it tons and uh i finally got it put out and uh then after that like an ice cream truck drove by with some lady and she was singing like you know and the scenery she was singing like you know this is this is the disaster something that's coming that's coming you know the ends are coming the end is coming and uh and then as she was driving everything looked desolate burnt um, like nothing was like it everything was wiped away gone but that's what it was I had a lot of different dreams last night you guys I woke up at 1130 from that dream and then um, I had some other dreams while I was, but anyhow those lasted I didn't wake up again until 6 a.m. Des yeah it shows everything's gonna be desolate you know Life's going to be burnt to a crisp. And people don't want to hear. They don't want to know. They're not warning people like they should. Anyhow, when we were at the garage trying to get repairs done to this, we're, going to, we're looking at taking this in and maybe trading it today. Trading it in because repairs. We don't want to get into a vehicle with a lot of repairs. And, uh, Anyhow, while we were there, the lady said, uh, we came here in 2018, and she said in 2019, she said, properties went off the scale here. People are moving from everywhere to be here. She goes, it's so much so that people are sending the money without even seeing the property. They just want to buy it and be here. And, uh, a year after we came here, and, uh, that's some people from Michigan uh, bought a bunch of property here, bought it sight unseen, man. Uh, but people, she said, from all over the place, people have been coming here. The property is off the charts here to try to get property here. And this is where people are being led here, you guys. And it's close to happening now. 21. This is 21. The end of 21. 777. I think this is going to be before the Great Tribulation is getting ready to kick in right now. This is where you want to be following Christ. A lot of people, you guys, I'm telling you, man, uh, the Holy Spirit's leading people. We got our confirmation yesterday. I heard it before. Somebody else saying it, that property went off the church here. And when we first came here and bought where we're at, the guy didn't believe that she was going to buy the property. Because he said for four years he tried selling it and nobody was buying. And then after she came here and bought it, people started buying here like mad. Just like mad. And I told you guys how, uh, I told you the cabin we moved into was exactly seven years old. The bunkhouse had eight bunks, okay? Exactly eight people got on the ark. I asked the Lord for a cabin in the woods, you guys. This is where I'm at. Things are fixing to start kicking off here. Stay close to the Lord. God bless everybody. You know, the OSAS out there, if they don't wake up and repent of their sins and stop sinning, that's a spirit in you. It's a spirit that you, you keep submitting yourself to that spirit. Willfully sinning. And thinking you could take the blood of Christ and use it to, as a cloak, it doesn't work that way. God wants obedience, man. 
all who confess and call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and repent of their sins will be saved. Okay, but if you truly repent, they'll know you by your faith. What do they talk about that rehab, that rehab, the, the harlot that uh, hid the uh, spies that came into the city? And then uh, she, she let them down by a rope. She moved by her faith, and she didn't even know anything, only that she believed their God was God, and that they were going to take all this land over. Therefore, she helped the spies. And by her faith, she saved her and her whole house. Her whole house was saved because her whole house sat there and believed. Guys, you'll know people by their faith, by their what they do. Now, had she not done what she done, and OSA has to say that's works. Had she not done what she done, everything. Abraham, read uh, Hebrews 11, man, and then OSAS. How do you stand up against that? Because it's all about faith and what they did. Because if you truly believe, we can't earn our salvation. We know that. We're saved by grace. But if you believe, you'll turn. You'll change. Repent means to turn away. Stop. You don't do it no more. That's what repent means. Guys, they're lost. They are totally lost. Where it says, um, because they believe not the truth, I will give them strong delusion. This is what you're seeing. Guys, the Word of God is the truth. Everything that you read in there about it. You can't do this and that. You can't. If you were following Christ, God, you would have no part of this. Let me ask you something where it says, Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Okay? You guys, give me your comment on that. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. I'll give you my comment on it. Okay? God bless you guys. I love yous. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.